This video is brought to you by Craven's Comic Books and Collectibles. Check out their weekly live show auction and sale at facebook.com slash Craven's Comics every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And you can check out their inventory at cravenscomics.com. Craven's Comics, for the comics you crave. Welcome back, Christine Lee. Hello. How are you this evening? Um, I'm good. I'm on a Pacific time zone, so it's like 4 p.m. right now. I'm on a little vacation home, hanging out. Very nice. Very nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, lo it looks way more relaxed and refreshing <laughs> than what sun goes through in yeah. this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to say, especially with this season, like last season, we, we marveled at, at what a survivor son is. And once again, complete survivor. But out of all the cast, I'd say son has the worst journey, <laughs> but the best destination in this story. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she just doesn't get a break. <laughs> oh, my no. God. And so no. I have to ask. I have to ask right mm -hmm. off the get-go. To do that many episodes in handcuffs, whereas, you know, people <laughs> like to emote with their hands. You are stuck like this the entire time for, like, I'd say more than half the season. Yeah, with my hands bound, yeah. <laughs> so what was it like doing that entire show you know, kind of like in that kind of uncomfortable position on top of everything else? Um, definitely challenged me to be a little more creative in terms of, <laughs> of how to express myself just because I'm not wielding a bag of cans anymore. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hand bound and totally dependent on people around me. And um, I think because Sun was such a um, taken initiative kind of person in season one, to be held back that much was genuinely frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> so it helped a lot, yeah. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, like it, it, it's an, it's awesome watch. I, I I really love the first season. The second season is really picking it up. But I do have to say. I am a little disappointed. No bag of cans. Like that was yeah. one of the great things about Sun, how she wielded the bag of cans. So just like expertly. Has I always wanted to see a Sun action figure where the right? bag of cans was an accessory. <laughs> that would be amazing. I'll talk about it to the guys upstairs in Netflix. I'll there you go. That's, that's what we're saying. Email and be like action figure. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely with the arm moving like the <laughs> yeah. hands when you pull a string yeah absolutely yeah for sure and the bag oh. can't just be a hard piece of plastic it's got to have a little bit of movement to it so it's oh, you know, yeah. it replicates it's the real world that thingy sound. yeah 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 and yeah. then the season two uh, variant would be the both arms moving with a white flag in the hand <laughs> <laughs> and tears just like yeah. constantly <laughs> streaming out of our eyes yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so obviously uh one of the other big changes between uh season one and, and this season is uh the weather the weather is uh is completely different season one it's it's predominantly summer spring we're not really well summer i guess because it's black summer but season two is a lot of winter a lot of snow <laughs> um i got to imagine that uh that's uh you know even with heated trailers and and clothing and stuff like that it's still got to be uh an impact on your performance and you know a little bit of uh, extra realism having to you know deal with those kind of conditions oh yeah um <laughs> actually when i was doing the fitting um they didn't decide what shoes son was going to wear and john the showrunner was there kind of you know, overseeing the fitting and saying yay or nay to a uh, wardrobe item. And he was like, you know what, Christine, you choose what you want to wear for shoes. And I <laughs> saw this flower patterned um, rain boots. And I was like, oh my God, those are so cute. Can I wear those? <laughs> and then I like, didn't even think about the fact that I have to run not just in a rain boot, in a pair of rain boots, but in a snow with rain boots. And I was like, oh man, 
Yeah. I mean, no, aesthetically, it's very pleasing, but <laughs> <laughs> it's so random, like, that she picked up a random pair of, like, busted flower pattern frame boots, you know. Oh man, and I'm guessing I'm guess. Let me just ask: Do you still have your feet after that shoot? <laughs> yeah, let me check. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're they're still there. Okay, they're good, still, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, <I'm> running. <laughs> oh man, we just got an email in from Ann N who says, "Love Christine's work. So creepy. Stay well." <laughs> <laughs> cool. I like that. I, I like how that you're, you know, you're taking that as a positive, you know, like most people would hear, you know, like so creepy and just be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm a nice person. <laughs> well, that's the thing. <laughs> Anne said that she loved it. So, so yes, very that, well, creepy. So yeah. that is yeah. a compliment. <laughs> so well, son's not creepy in the show. Let's face facts. You know, a no. lot of creepy things are happening around her. Happening to her. Yes. Yeah. She, she has to deal with a lot of creepiness. Oh, yeah. my God. But um, no, she she is literally our ray of sunshine in a uh, in a very depressingly sick world. That's uh, yeah. I you know I got to imagine though performing that it's like when you look at the character and what she has to go through, like it, it is a rough ride. No matter how you want to cut it, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just... You know. So with with like how like how how do you um. How do you come at a, at a role like that? What, you know, when it is so, you know, dark and and uh, overwhelming at times. Um. Well, for season one, I, I gotta say it was harder to get out of it just because it it is my first biggest role I've ever done as an actor, and I also never really got to live with the character for that long before. And I fell in love with her in a weird way. I don't know if that's ni narcissistic, but <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with the character that I'm playing. Um, uh, so I, uh, it was a bit hard to let her go. Um, second season, yeah, her journey is definitely a lot more frustrating than the first one. But at a personal level, I was kind of going through something that, uh, I guess, shooting Black Summer gave an escape away from it. So I was just so thankful that I was just on set. I was so thankful that I had distance from whatever that I was going through and just had an outlet to scream, run like a crazy person, <laughs> cry. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it was also, it was probably difficult shooting season two with the, uh, the break in between shooting. Because I know you guys started, then COVID happened, then you guys didn't get back to it again until September. So yeah. did the break, do, did the break help your performance or hinder it? Oh, God. Um, I'm trying to think what we shot in the beginning you know what actually um because the original cast of season one we didn't get to really interact with each other on set until september oh okay yeah because we were all do shooting our own little segments in the beginning so in the beginning i'd say it was actually harder because i was hoping to see you know justin and jamie on set every day like I did before, but I wasn't, I was mm. running in snow. <laughs> that was not fun. Mm. But um, after pandemic was when we shot the bits where all of us are actually together, like right before the separation happens. And right. it was actually a lot easier because I felt like we were finally like, oh, okay, I'm home. Like right. I'm with my crew here. I feel more comfortable for sure. That's cool. That's very cool. Now, again, you're working with a lot of new people and probably the main person you're working with, uh, Bobby Nadiri. Yes. Uh, yeah, that, that relationship there, that's uh, the being a captive for that long. Mm -hmm. When you're working with another actor, is this sort of the thing where it's like offset, you can joke about it or offset to stay in the moment? It's like, keep that fucker away from me. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, like, Bobby is one of the sweetest. Actually, all the army guys, the tactical teams that you see, yeah. they are 
to me, it's kind of funny to see them on screen so tough because on set, they are the nicest, the sweetest, the most soft spoken people in the world. They're like, is it okay if I touch you here? Can I pick you up like this? Are you okay? They were so sweet. <laughs> so, it, it wasn't bad. Um, Bobby is also a hilarious man. So um, we actually hung out a lot offset because yeah, he was the only person that I interacted with on set. So. That's great, though. That's great that you guys were able to like have a nice release as friends offset because that's some of the most intense stuff in this season is between yeah. him yeah, and Sam. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I think it's because we were clicking off set that we were able to be comfortable with the tension we create on set. I think if it was too real for me i i think i would have shied away from it actually on camera like we were able to push it yeah right so you guys could take more risks with it because you had that trust that's awesome yeah totally so i gotta you know i, I always like when i especially on a show like black summer you know when it's so hard and, and rough around the edges as you're watching it as a viewer that is mm -hmm. for for you guys on the cast when you're on set and you're working you know like obviously you're taking your job seriously and all that stuff but what about like in between scenes and stuff like that was you know is there, are there jokes going on or is everybody still kind of like you know focused <laughs> no way no it i feel like i mean our cast and crew really had a family vibe and honestly, everybody was so excited to be there, especially after pandemic. You know, the fact that people were able to work and be on set while COVID was happening. I mean, of course we had to take protocols and we had, right. we couldn't have, you know, normally I, I have lunch with Justin if he was on set, but I was not allowed to do that. Like we had to keep, distances but still it was everybody was so happy to be there that in between takes it was like constant joke and i personally needed that release right yeah because what stun is handling is a bit heavy that i i don't think i would have had the mental stamina to go on if i had to stay in the moment between takes i don't know i was a goofball <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that. That's awesome, you know. Because well, the other thing about the show that I will say though is that it kind of lends itself towards the pandemic, you know, like with the protocols and everything. Because not only because of the subject matter, but but also like a lot of these scenes are very sparsely populated with actors, and you know, and like you know, it, it, you're not always having to stand near each other. Like it's there's a lot of spaces, wide open spaces and stuff, you know, going on in this show. So you can kind of keep it with Whereas other shows. I found that I've noticed, I notice separation. I notice when mm -hmm. actors are kind of like in the past, you wouldn't see them that far apart where, you know, they'd be right much, much, much closer. You guys, you have more space going on. So I got to imagine that helped not help, but it didn't hinder you as far as blocking and all that was going on uh, during the shoot. No, no. And the thing is, with the way we create the show, um, we, I, yes, there is a script. Yes, there is that storyline that we have to follow mm -hmm. through. However, how we execute it changes on the spot the minute we get on the set. Like, we do really take in the environment. So if it means we have to cut a segment to make something else work, we'll do that you know, a lot of changes of plan and a lot of thinking on our feet on the day. So for sure. Yeah. Like we weren't, we didn't feel like we were restricted at all. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now with, with COVID, of course, there was a long period where you couldn't work. Mm -hmm. And the last time we talked with you, we knew that you were a very like outgoing person who liked to do a lot of like physical activities and you were singing in that band and, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So it's like, what did you do with your time in quarantine because you're like me you're an outdoor cat you like to get out there and do stuff yeah and yeah to be stuck indoors how did you keep yourself occupied oh I mean I honestly think I have been I have never been this creative ever in my life because I I have so much energy I I had to do something with my yeah. life so um when I was actually when pandemic hit and the show stopped I actually stayed in Calgary a couple months longer because I just was was like, you know what, I might as well just stay here and see what happens. 
And uh, I was actually, um, I got to hang out with my first AD a lot, Chelsea, shout out Chelsea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we shot like a short film together. Oh, that's <laughs> like, awesome. With the two of us. I wrote a song about my cat, how much I love my cat. I put it on Spotify. I made a music video. I went all out, guys. Like, oh my god, that's see, awesome. See, yeah, you you're putting uh, me to shame. Uh, unlike you and Andrew, <laughs> I am very much a indoors person, and so I just I there's a lot of couch sitting, a lot of sleeping, <laughs> you know, a lot of watching TV. You're out there doing stuff, even when, <laughs> even when you're, you know, you're stuck inside. I, that's, that's, I just got to say, that's super impressive. And I, I, I bow to you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you should talk to Zoe who plays Anna. When we came back on set after pandemic, well, you know, that break because of pandemic, um, Justin and I were like, so Zoe, uh, what did you do during pandemic? And she was like, well, I finished reading hundred books. Um, I, uh, wrote a screenplay that I did adapted from, from my favorite book to a feature film length. Um, I did this and this and this, and I was like, oh my God. And she's only 15. I feel so bad about it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's just not right. That's just it's not right. right. I don't know how she does it, but she's, she's definitely a, a gifted, gifted young lady. Yeah. Oh my god! That's that's way more energy than I can put. I can output <laughs> like in my entire life. I think that's. Uh, I had a lot of energy when I was teen, but I didn't read a hundred books. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a hundred TV shows. I could say maybe that. Yeah, like, me too. <laughs> right? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, that's really good. But uh, speaking of your short film, do you guys have any plans to release it or? Oh, it's all on Instagram. It oh, was all, oh, okay. yeah. oh yeah, everything's on my Instagram. I. <laughs> and what's your Instagram handle? It's very simple. It's Christine Lee dot official. Okay, Christine Lee dot official. So definitely, if you want to check out the short that Christine made in quarantine, you can see it on Instagram at her Instagram handle, Christine dot mm -hmm. official. So definitely check it out. <laughs> and That's what's uh, cool. what's the what's the name of the song about your cat? Because I got to check this out now. On oh Spotify. yeah, it's, <laughs> it's called Kitty Kitty Pierre because <laughs> my cat's name is Pierre. <laughs> Straight and right to the point. I love it. There you go. So that so that Pierre knew that it was about him. That was what it was. Oh, it's about a her. Oh, it's sorry. Her. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Pierre. But it was about yeah. her. There we go. Yeah. I'm one of those like progressive moms who give like, you know, boy names to girls, you know? I'm that's cool. Man. That's cool. Right on. Um. <laughs> Very cool. I gotta check that out. So it's on Spotify, you said, right? Yeah, and on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, because cool. you did a video too, right? Video, oh. right? The music yeah, video. No, we'll I'm gonna have to definitely check that out. We'll have to we'll have to tweet that out later in the week. Yeah, yeah. So the hey. music video's on Instagram, so it'll be yeah. easier to tweet it that way. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I did during the pandemic. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that's awesome. Sounds like you you really you really maximized that time and had some fun. That's great. Yeah, it was great. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I gotta say, love the second season of black summer just as much like tension and craziness as the oh, first yeah. just even with handcuffs you were still working your ass off out there <laughs> and uh now i didn't even realize that you were wearing galoshes while you were doing it so that's <laughs> that's doubly impressive i never looked down at your feet i don't know why but uh but yeah really loved it and really look forward to more people getting to check it out because it is just as good as the first season Thank you so much. That's so great to hear. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the program and we look forward to more from you and to people go check out our music video and our short film. Yeah, right on. Awesome. There we go. All right. Thanks for coming on, Christine. Thanks guys. Thanks thank for you. Having me.